How's it going guys, it's Najam, welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'm going to compare the black and white e-ink displays against the color e-ink displays. So I'm just going to show you the side by side differences so you can get an idea of what it's like using the two. Now I know these screen sizes are different, but I'm just going to talk about the differences between using the displays rather than the size. So I'm just going to show you uh, images. I have to the, turn all the backlighting and the front lighting off on both of these and this is under room lighting i've only got studio lights on which are deflecting up at the ceiling and so in person this one is very readable and this one is a bit it's much harder to read but it does have color so that's what we want right uh, let's go ahead and take a look on this first image and we're just gonna go ahead and rotate this to landscape and then as you can see it's almost the same size As you can see it's on the normal mode so it should give you the best image quality and let's have a look at the um, color version now you will notice the actual resolution is lower on the color version i can just tell by my looking at it Without an having to squint, the black and white version is the black and white version just seems like it has more resolution, which is weird. The uh, color one does look pixelated. Okay, let's move on to the next image. Going to go ahead and rotate that back to uh, portrait so you can see this one. So that it's in black and white. And here's the color version. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the front lighting. And that does look quite a bit better. That looks a lot more closer to the black and white one but the black and white does not have um, the glow light on but as you can see the color is a lot nicer um, this one actually i can easily say that the color one is better because just it has just that it has color but the quality uh the image quality is better on the black and white version so we're gonna move on to the next image and i'm gonna go ahead and this in landscape again Now in this image also I think it's because I've got the glow light on the color version it does look a lot nicer because it has color I pretty do I do prefer color I do like black and white the black and white on this one does look very nice as well actually the tones are very nice it has its own limits but it does look very nice and you can see the color one Now if you do get a bit close up, uh, you can see the lines and the pixels on it. So the resolution is definitely lower on the color version. Let's move on to the next image. And I think I want to keep this the same size. And in this one, I'd have to admit the color one does look better again. Let's move forward. We're going to check out some other things as well. Now I've got mainly colored images to show you the differences in the color. Um, and I suppose that's not fair comparison. In this, in this one, I do prefer again the uh, color version. In my personal opinion, I do like it more. And we've got some landscapes. The color one definitely does look a lot nicer. Let's 
I'm gonna turn on the turn off the lights. And now, in my opinion, I think. Nah, uh, well, this one's a lot easier to see again. For the color one, because it has color, it's nicer. And so is this. Okay, in this in this one, I do prefer the black and white one. Uh, because of the, you can see the detail a lot more. And the color, if you look over there, because of the tonality, it is a bit. Um, contrast is pretty low. And again, same thing. And there's the color version. And I'm going to show you the black and white version. And you can see that the black and white one is just a lot more nicer to look at in this one. It does have bonding, you can see in the background. Uh, whereas in the color one, it does look a lot more blended in because of the differences in resolution. And you can see the uh, detail differences. And here is the color chart. You can see that one is in color and the other one is in black and white. Okay, now let's talk about, uh, let's go ahead and have a look at black and white manga. We've got some examples over here. I'm going to have to admit in this one, uh, the black and white one does look quite a lot more better because this is less reflective and you can probably see on the camera that you can see the room ambience a lot more on it. Um, so it's harder to see the black black areas. And this is just a lot more easier to look at. I'm going to go ahead and change the camera angle to see if it gives you a better view. So from this angle here, you can see more closer to the differences as to what it looks like. The black and white one does look a lot more better um, compared to the color version because it does have a lot more reflectiveness and that's because it is less reflective as in the display is not as bright. If we move forward in the um, black and white, you can't really see the differences because there's no color, but this one is a lot more easier to read. This is a more darker. And let's go ahead and look at color uh, manga. So here is color. The color manga. And you can see that one is definitely in color. And this one you can clearly see the black and white one is again easier to read, especially in darker, uh, darker conditions. But one does have color. But the black and white one uh, does have a lot more contrast compared to the color one. And to the eyes, this is a lot easier to read, but the other one does have color. And in this case, it would make a big difference because if you're reading color content and quite a bit of it, you would be better off with the color ink reader. Because you can see the big difference in this one. And also in this one, as you can see, This is quite a bit darker and even though it is much darker on here and you can see a lot more detail in the dark areas just because of the um, resolution or the tonality as well. And 
Now as you can see this one has, does have a big difference. You can see the color one does look a lot better in my opinion as well. And you can see the black and white one is a lot more brighter. And then the color one does look a bit darker, but it does have color. Let's have a look at the last one here. So here is my recommendation. It all comes down to the kind of content that you consume. Um, if for example we looked at the color mangas if you read a lot of color manga get the color one um, but again uh, i'm going to be honest with you even if you have color manga you can get away with it on black and white it's just a lot more easier to read on the black and white one um, if you do need color you get the color one and that's why i got it because i need color for a certain um, text like this one for example this pdf here has color coded text which does not show up on the black and white e-reader and so i can't really uh use that one but uh it's very hard to read and so normally what i do is i just have this on and then it just makes it a lot easier but as far as the color saturation goes to be honest yeah it's not very good um unless you're out and about in the sunlight because the sun just reflects a lot of light off this and then it just looks a lot more saturated uh, but if you pull out a phone screen or anything like that if even if you look at um, objects around you this does look very very muted um, but compared to the black and white one you can see that it does have color most of the content uh, that you consume on these devices is going to be in black and white most books that i have are in black and white um, if i go on to the library you can see uh, even though we do have some books and that have pictures you can get away with them uh, i mean they're black and white it's just text and for this kind of format it's just better to um, have black and white because it's just a lot easier to read and it's made for that as well so most books uh, pretty much all the books that i know of they're going to be better off on the black and white e-reader uh, because it's just made for that um, this is just going to make it a lot harder to read let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in another video.